Getting meta is all about getting metacognitive. That means employing metacognitive strategies that can help students acquire, retain, and transfer new content. That's easy to say, but getting meta is tricky business. It takes time, effort, practice, and an awareness of the need. I'm glad you brought up awareness. I used to be one of those teachers that didn't really think about the need to get meta. My lessons were packed with a range of activities, and I gave tons of feedback on all types of assessments. Problem was, most of my students really struggled with applying the learned material to new circumstances or hanging on to it for extended periods of time. They seemed to be getting it, but they really weren't. I have an eerie feeling like someone's been spying on my classroom. So, how can you get there? Well, that brings us to our title, Getting Meta. You see, studies have shown that giving students practice with metacognitive strategies can improve how well they transfer knowledge to new contexts and how long it sticks around in their noggins. Metacognition is a path to understanding. I thought metacognition was merely thinking about your thinking. Pure navel-gazing. Poppycock. That way of thinking is antiquated says the guy who just exclaimed poppycock. Recent research has demonstrated that effective learning involves planning and goal setting, continual monitoring of one's progress by identifying what you know and working on what you don't know, and then adapting as necessary, all of which are part of metacognition. The benefits of metacognition come from using strategies like self-questioning, annotated drawings, concept mapping, checklists, and reciprocal teaching, to name a few. Thanks for stopping by.